Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our videos. Struggling with this frustrating error? Let's fix it in minutes. This error occurs because your bootable drive was created in UEFI mode, but your computer is trying to boot in legacy, BIOS mode. The two boot methods are incompatible, and that's why the system is unable to boot from the drive. Now, follow these steps to recreate your bootable USB for legacy mode. Launch Rufus and wait for it to detect your USB drive. In Rufus, select your ISO file by clicking Select. Next, set the following options. Partition Scheme MBR. Click Start, and Rufus will format the drive and create the bootable USB. This may take a few minutes. Once it's finished, you're ready to boot your system in legacy mode. Your Windows bootable pen drive is now ready, and you can use it to install Windows. Next, plug your pen drive into your computer and restart it. While the system is restarting, press the delete key. Depending on your motherboard, this key may vary and is often F10 or F12, or delete. Click Next. Click Install Now. If you have a product key, enter it, otherwise, Click I don't have a product key. Select the operating system you want to install, in my case, Windows 10 Pro, then click Next. Accept the license terms and click Next. Choose the second option, Custom Install Windows Only. It will list all the available partitions on your computer. Since this is my new SSD, I will allocate the entire SSD for the operating system. To do this, I'll create a new partition. Select the drive, Click New, and then Apply. Once the partition is created, format it by selecting the drive and clicking Format. After formatting, select the drive and click Next. Windows will now start the installation process, which will proceed through five stages automatically. After installing the features, the system will restart. At this point, you need to unplug your Windows pen drive. This ensures the system moves to the next step instead of starting the installation process from the beginning. Select your region and keyboard layout, then click Next. Click I don't have internet and continue. You will then need to set a username and password. Windows will now proceed with the final stage of installation, which may take several minutes. Once completed, your Windows operating system has been successfully installed. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 